also from your local election headquarters. One question our viewers have been asking about the possibility of this gas tax is, is it really legal? Well, Utah State's Constitution says clearly that all revenue from a gas tax must go to transportation. News for Utah's education reporter Sarah Martin followed the money, explains how the gas tax could help students and roads. Ballot question one deals with three pots of money, the general fund, transportation, and education. It's a ballot question because your legislators want you to decide where the money goes. With all the growth in our state, transportation takes a huge chunk out of our general fund. That means there's not much left over for education growth. With the gas tax, your 10 cents would go directly into the transportation fund and free up about $125 million for education each year. Senator Fillmore is the floor sponsor of the ballot question. He explained that it all comes down to what the voters want. All the gas tax money, if this uh, tax increase were to pass, would go to fund roads, and that would free up some general fund money that would go to fund higher education, which would free up from some education fund money that would go to K-12 public schools at around $100 million a year. The proposal is a compromise, an alternative to higher taxes in other areas. They had originally proposed a $700 million tax increase to come from a combination of income and sales taxes, but through negotiations, they, working with some key members of the legislature, uh, decided to that the best way to do that would probably be to increase the gas tax. Transportation funding is falling short because the gas tax hasn't been effectively raised in Utah in almost 20 years. Income tax has been growing so fast in our state, but gas tax just hasn't kept pace. And so more and more of the state's general fund is going to fund transportation. Legislators behind the ballot question proposed a teacher and student success account. So all of the newly available money can only be used in the classroom, not on administrative or building needs. If you vote yes on ballot question one, officials have estimated it would cost the average Utah about $4 a month. Reporting in the studio, I'm Sarah Martin, News for Utah.